Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be discussing about different type of wounds which are there, which we cannot classify generally, but I'm sure after this video you will be able to. So starting with off, what is a wound? The very basic question you need to know that what a actually wound means like. So wound is actually an injury and you can say that there is a break of skin or other body tissues which leads to a wound or which can be titled as a wound. They usually happen because of any kind of accident or trauma. So for example, this is your normal skin which you see. So if any interruption or any trauma occurs in the skin and this continuity of your skin is being disturbed or interrupted, now this is said to be a wound. Moving ahead with types of wounds, so we will be discussing the classification on various bases. So the very first is on the basis of the morphology. If I talk on the basis of morphology, I have two types, open wound and another one is the closed wound. First talking about the open wound. So open wound can be of four types. It can be incised wound, it can be a puncture wound, it can be a penetration wound and a gunshot wound. If I talk about the incised wound, it is generally this type of wound and it is usually because of any kind of you know blade injury or any kind of scissor injury when you have simply incision or uh, an incision has been caused okay that is said to be an incised wound now coming to a puncture wound puncture wound generally happen because of any kinds of pins or nails or maybe any kind of needle injury and that leads to a very small opening very minute wound that is said to be a puncture wound generally the bleeding is very less in this kind of wound and you do not do any specific dressing or treatment for this wound this is a self-healing kind of condition and very rarely infection chances are there moving to the next type that is a penetration wound penetration wound is a kind of wound for example a man took a knife and tried to pen and he tried uh, to penetrate this knife over this man's stomach now again and again you see the penetration of the knife inside this uh, patient's or inside the person's body and taking out of that knife and then again putting the knife back into the patient's body that is a kind of condition which will lead to a penetration bone, uh, wound in which you are taking a specific uh, substance or a uh, specific uh, knife or something through, uh, through which you are penetrating inside a person's body. This kind of condition will lead to a penetration wound. Last we have the gunshot wound in the open wound kind of uh, category and this is when you generally take a gun and shoot a person. So what happens a round, a round wound kind of structure is formed on a patient's or a person's body and you will see that is said to be a gunshot wound. Now this condition can be of two types, either the wound can be uh, a through wound in which the gun, uh, the bullet has crossed the body making a double hole or it can be a condition in which the bullet has sustained in the person's body. So this is a type of gunshot wound. So we are done with the open type coming to the closed wounds. Closed wounds can be of three types, either it can be a crush wound, bruises or hematoma. Hematoma are also said to be the blood tumors. Now why are they said to be blood tumors? Whenever any internal injury happens, there is internal bleeding which happens and this blood gets collected somewhere into the body and can in severe cases lead to a blood tumor formation. That, uh, that is the reason it is said to be a blood tumor. Now what is a crush wound? Crush wound is when you have applied a lot of force, maybe when you have just slipped during the uh, walk or something or a huge pressure of force has been applied on your skin or your forearm or any part of the body which has damaged your muscles or the ligaments that is said to be a crush wound. Generally what we do, we use ointments like move or volini and it gives a kind of heat or a kind of warm feel to the place which has been injured and this helps in healing these kind of wounds. Now you see these are some examples of bruises and hematomas. Moving on the next category or on the next basis, now we are classifying this on the basis of thickness. On the basis of thickness, either it can be a superficial wound which is not that chronic or it can be a deep wound which has concluded or kind of involved a lot more structures than just the skin. Moving on the basis of trauma, on the basis of the time of trauma, it can either be a fresh wound or it can be an old wound. Fresh wound is something which is 
so the wound up to 8 to 12 hours is said to be a fresh wound and after 12 hours it is said to be a old wound this is the only basis of classification the next on the basis of contamination a clean wound or a contaminated wound a clean wound is a wound which has been created by a expertise like a doctor or anyone else who has been uh, creating the wound in a very sterile conditions and there are no chances of any infection to occur so that is said to be a clean wound generally these kind of wounds have been created at the time of surgery or operations by the doctor in sterile conditions moving to the next that is contaminated wound as you see there is a lot of infection in this wound and contaminated wound is a wound in which there is infection correlated or coexisting with the condition so this was all about all different type of wounds i know if you like the video please like the but uh, please hit the like button share the video with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you